Well, welcome back. My name is David Barnes again, and I'm here with Michael Orn. If you were in the previous session or watched the previous session, we just got done installing Lotus Mashups, Lotus Mashup, uh, I'm sorry, Mashup Central. I'm getting used to the official names here. Yes. We took a look at the overall installation procedure. We launched Lotus Mashups, and this is the screen we see. Correct. Yes, it is. This is where you start up. So here I am actually in what will be a runtime mode. If I want to go in and actually start editing in here, I actually go up here to this button. I click on Go to Edit, and okay. now I bring up a tool. You're box. a geek, and I mean that with all due respect. But runtime mode, user mode, what the user would be using, right? That's right. Okay. So cool. once you, yep, yeah, that's right. Runtime, so geeky. Yes. Uh, we are a little geeky here and there. But that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So here we have a uh, toolbox. Okay. Inside the toolbox, we have now drawers with widgets that we can go and use to assemble a, uh, a mashup. And this is all in Firefox? I'm running with Firefox in here. Uh, this will also work in Safari 3 and IE7. And what you're looking at right now with the drop downs and some of the help balloons, that's all Ajax. Correct? Yes, it is. This runs on the Dojo libraries, as they're called, but this is an Ajax uh, browser interface. In fact, there's one right there. So that did not require any special plugins. I guess that's the point I want to make. That's right. There's no installation required here at all. No installation of plugins, so it's just straight up browser and off we go. Yep. Okay. Well, that's really about it, right? You got a little bit of customization. You got save. I got a save button over here. Or if I go back into go to view mode, it will actually save the page for me automatically. Which is very important for the beta tester to understand. When you're in edit mode, you can go off and do edit creation, mm -hmm. creation of a mashup, etc. And as soon as you go into view mode, it's auto saved. That's right. That was not intuitively obvious to me, but once again, I said I can play dumb because I am dumb. So, <laughs> so I'll keep pointing those things out as well. Um, it's a pretty basic user interface. You want to hook us up with a mashup? Yeah, so let's do something very simple. Here I have a widget that we call customer list. I lay down on here on a page and it will go in and visualize, visualize itself here, as you can see. This scenario here is a, um, I'm playing the role here of a, a salesperson, and these are my accounts. So we listed up uh, some customers, the addresses, uh, the URLs, etc. on that. Okay, and because I do already know this, yeah. I'll ask you anyhow. The data for this can come from any place. It can come from many different places. And I will give some examples on how we pick up those uh, inputs when we go to the mashup hub right. in just a few moments. Terrific. So now I have a starting point in here. Now, what do I want to do with this? Well, if I'm going to call on a customer, I may want to know what the weather's like on the site where I'm going to go. So this gives me an opportunity to show here another widget. Here we call it AccuWeather. So you just dragged it off the palette. I just dragged it down here on the palette. And I'm going to go down on the bottom here and change the sh shape of it just a tiny bit, like so. And if I hook these two together now, because it defaults to New York, I go to the wiring interface on the customer list. It shows me what events can be exported from the customer list. And here what I want to do is I want to export the zip file, the zip Okay, can you code. explain that again, again? Uh, yes, again, I can. Again, again, no, just the first time again. And this, <laughs> uh, this I'm, I'm actually pleased about the way that you did this. So. Green, we'll get into in a second, are things that I can send. Correct. Blue are things that I want to receive. That's right. And you're only showing the things in the list that can be sent. If it's not in the list, you can't use it. That's right. So this is the, what's available to me from this customer list to send. Now, you can see here, some of them are relatively straightforward here. The URL is the But I didn't address. see the URL. So there can be things in the widget mm -hmm. that you can send back and forth, but they're not visual to me when I look at the widget. They may be visual, they may be hidden. Got it. In this particular case, I had uh, picked the zip code. So I click on that. Now it pulls up um, which widget can receive the zip code. Now, in this case, it's pretty obvious because there's only one widget on the page. Obvious to you, not to me. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so just out of coincidence, I picked a widget that actually take his zip code. Did you do that for me? <laughs> Something simple. Thanks. I appreciate that. So I'm going to now send the zip code to AccuWeather. And as you can see here, it can accept a zip code as well. So with those two matches, I can now click on Done. And when I click on uh, Capital One here, it will pull up the weather in Lithonia, Georgia. Furthermore, when I come in, I, much of this is about customizing mm -hmm. what you want to do. So if I go to public settings on this widget, I can come and customize this a little bit as well. So here, let's say I want to minimize this a little bit um, and make it smaller. I'm used to Celsius. 
Some people prefer Fahrenheit. Perhaps many of our audience. I just prefer a good temperature wherever I'm at. <laughs> I don't care how you read it. This, the widget you can't set to comfortable. You can't force the widget, the, the weather here. But we can certainly set it to be English uh, metrics here and save it away. And now we can make this widget a bit smaller. And you will see, um, oops, lost the handle there. Put it down like so. And I want to go and click on um, on uh, different companies, you will see the updates. So, so this is one of the things I like about what we're doing at Mashups, what Web 2.0 has brought us, what Apple has helped drive, because I'm an Apple fan, mm -hmm. the user rules. Yes, this is all very much about the user experience here. Mm -hmm. And I know you can pick different colors, because mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. So these, these widgets now come in different skins. So if I lay down this uh, widget here and um, go to the select skin, I have a different skin that I can do here that's uh, an orange skin, mm -hmm. follow the title. Um, that gives me a very quick and very easy way to change the look and feel. We have more skins coming, but right now we have these two. And shows. I want to point out, because sometimes it's difficult to see in video, the icon he clicks on in the upper right hand corner is a screwdriver, mm -hmm. pretty simple for configuration. And the other one is a couple of arrows which normally would look like maybe synchronize, in this case it's wiring two things together. That's exactly right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, now, as you can see here, I can also go and change. We have a similar icon up here at the page level. And if I go to this one, um, I can go in and actually change the default for the widgets to oh, go okay. in and be in the orange thing that you had in here. So if I save that away and now go and pull down a, a second uh, example, I'm going to use a website displayer for this example. It will now come down in that same orange. Oh, great, great. I like the orange. I want that for default for me anyhow. <laughs> now, I'm going to pull up and show you one more wiring. So from the customer list, I'm going to now send the URL to the web uh, site displayer. Click that in here, and it will say that I can display this as HTML. I will finish the wiring in here, and now I want to go up and click on something in the customer list. You will see the corresponding web uh, page now uh, show in this as now, well. I'm looking hard and I see, oh, the URL is listed in there, but it could have been other non-visible items that you this, passed back Yeah, this is something that you can actually control as you visualize the widget, whether you want that visible or not. Great. So that's, that's a choice. You know, we talked about this as being aimed at a business user, somebody that would uh, maybe make an Excel spreadsheet. If they have that skills, they can do this. This looks easier than some of the things I've done with Excel macros. Yeah, it, it is easier to, in the beginning, but just like an Excel spreadsheet it can be very simple if you want to do simple things, and you can make it very, very powerful if you are in a finance department, for example, and want to do it. Right. You can take this and drive it a little bit further if you want. Right. Right. Just like a spreadsheet, you can take somebody, somebody else's spreadsheet, modify it, and then republish it and send it around. The power here is I can create a simple situational cool. app, the, the, publish the it to you. Right, yeah. right. You customize it further, make it more powerful, and we can share that way. The more people that use it, the better it gets. Yes. So you send me this, I come up with a great idea, I add something else in, and then I take credit for all of it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Of um, course. So you could save or you can just go into view mode. I can save and go into view mode to get this uh, saved away. So let's go to, to go, go to view here. Now I have saved the page. And this is what it will look like when I publish it. And if I wanted to share that page? Then we'll go ahead and upload this. We actually share it into a catalog. Mm -hmm. And then other people can take that page from the catalog and bring okay, it down. Okay, so on we'll be getting to that in just a little bit then, right? We are. And if I go back here and make one more modification mm -hmm. in here to get the color scheme lined up a little bit, I'll go up here to configuration one more time. I'm going to change the background screen and make it a um, little light uh, yellow orange here. Save that away. And I very quickly got yourself another look. Okay. And I know that we're in beta right now, and I know that you have a couple skins there, but please tell me that you're going to allow me to skin in the future. We will add more skins ourselves. That's underway. Okay. And we also let you skin yourself because this is very much about you customizing the application the way you like it. Absolutely. Terrific. Well, this looks fantastic. How about um, let's stop here. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look at Mashup Hub, where that is still the name, right? I know yes, it is. Love, where we can actually start storing these widgets and storing the pages and reusing and sharing, etc. Let's do that. Terrific. Well, we'll stop here and we'll be back in just a moment and we'll take a look at Mashup Hub.